Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Megan Santa Cruz and in today's video I'm going to be just doing a little tutorial or mini review of the Daisy Marquez palette. You no, know, y'all are probably like... Um, didn't this palette come out like a month ago? Why is she reviewing this now? Her makeup sucks. <laughs> okay, you're probably not like the last one, hopefully. Um, yeah, I you're right i literally ordered this like four weeks ago pre-ordered it actually and it's just been sitting in my room and i was planning to do a tutorial on it and i never got to it because i just i'm a human being we all make mistakes but the important thing is that we are all here today to watch me do this little tutorial why do i keep saying little literally but today we are doing this eye look. Well, not you, but I'm doing this eye look. It's like a halo eye. It's so pretty. I think it's so pretty. I am not the best at eyeshadow, um, but I really tried today. So if you want to see how I got this eye look, let's just get on into the video. And yeah. Oh. We're gonna start off by just looking at what the package and the colors look like. Look how pretty it is. It's like Tiffany blue. I know this is like her favorite color, like a like a teal Tiffany blue. So you open it up and there's a little mirror and mine came kind of like that, but it's fine. I think <laughs> I think it's like the cleaning solution they were trying to clean with. Then you can also prop it up like this. And I think that's so cute, like that's so innovative. Like I've never seen a makeup palette that does that. I know they all come with mirrors, but like she made it so like when you travel and stuff, you could have a mirror and then just do your makeup like this. Oh, when you open the palette up, I'll put this down because I still have my little plastic over it and I'm scared to take it off because I always dig my nails. <laughs> Anyways, you open it up and this is what all the colors look like. I look naked. I'm not naked, I promise. I'm wearing a tube top. I am not a certified makeup artist, so do not come for me if you think I don't know what I'm talking about because I probably don't. I'm not gonna start off by doing foundation first and powder and like the whole shebang because I'm scared of fallout so I'm just gonna do my eyebrows first and then we're gonna go on to the eye look. I look weird cuz I don't have anything else on my face but eyebrows. <laughs> Literally this is me I think three days after I film this video I am editing right now and I realized that I legit have lost the footage to the most important part, which is me explaining my eye look. Ask you how you are, you just say that you're fine. <laughs> I was not. legit so mad. I was like, why does my camera always delete stuff? I don't know why. So I just decided to refilm this part. Everything else is like completely the same because eh, my footage got deleted. So yeah, I'm just gonna literally redo everything I did in the video and explain it to you guys because I do not want to throw away all this footage. I feel like I worked pretty hard in this video or I was just really proud of this video and I was bummed that my footage got deleted. But anyways, let's go on to the eye look and yeah, you know, things happen. It's fine. It's been like three days and like she forgot what she's doing. That's fine. So the first thing I'm going to do is get Dulce. Then I got my Morphe M441 brush and I'm just going to take Vintage and I'm going to put it on my crease and so I'm going to try to do a halo eye. So I'm just going to start off here, just go around this like perimeter of my eye and then really pack it on like on these two sides because we're trying to create a halo effect eye, not a cut crease. 
really pat down. It's not working for me. So I'm just gonna take this elf brush and I'm gonna just pat it on. I like it because it's literally made for patting as you can see. I'm gonna get passion fruit and I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did with Vinted. I'm gonna take it on my Morphe M433 brush. Ugh, tongue twister. And yeah, I'm gonna put fashion, passion, Jesus. I'm gonna put passion fruit where I put vintage. I'm gonna take bittersweet and then it's kind of like a darker version of passion fruit, which we just put in our crease. So then I'm just gonna take passion fruit and then deepen it up. And then we're gonna move on to our halo eye. And I'm gonna take my brush that I got from Shop Miss A. It was literally a dollar, so I love that. And I'm gonna just take my concealer and I'm just gonna make my halo eye. I'm just gonna add a little bit more concealer. When I'm done with that, I'm gonna take my Morphe M124 brush and it looks like this. It's gonna really help me pack on the shimmery shade I'm gonna put in my halo eye. And so I'm gonna take Icy, like Sweetie, and I'm actually going to wet my brush because I want this to be extremely shiny. So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna take Icy and I'm just gonna really pack this onto my lid. We're going to actually clean it up with an e.l.f. smudge brush. And it looks like this, it's really precise, which I like. And I'm gonna go back in with passion fruit. And I'm gonna go back in with bittersweet and I'm really just gonna clean up this halo eye. I was going for I think it's really pretty and if you didn't like it you can literally just put huge eyelashes over it and it'll look better but so yeah this is how the eye look looks like from afar and I hope you guys liked me struggling I hope you guys continue on with the video i'm sorry that my footage got deleted but you know things happen and life goes on i'm pretty happy with how it turned out and let's just get on with the rest of the video and i'll show you guys the final look at the end of the video now i'm gonna do the other eye and then put on eyelashes and then i'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and i'm gonna show you guys the final result right now i love how my eye look actually turned out pretty cute if i do say so myself anyways this was my little review or my mini tutorial on the daisy marquez palette i actually really love the palette i think it's very colorful i think it's very cute i think it's very fun and i feel like this goes with any of the seasons if you're into that or just any eye look you would want to create i think it's very versatile and I really enjoyed doing a little tutorial for you guys. Yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe or comment or follow me on my other social medias. All the products that I have used in this video, I will put it in the description below. And yeah, that was it for the video and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>